Okay, art students, we are in the next video. And bef what, what we're going to do is we're going to work with some crayons. And then I decided it would be fun to invite some watercolor paints. If you don't have watercolor paints at home, that's okay. You can just stick to the crayons. Here we go. What I'd like for you to do is first find a white coloring crayon. And we're going to color the white on the white paper. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the white and we're going to draw a network of zigzaggy lines that come down from our plants like this. Now I know you can't really see what I'm doing, but I'm making and I'm pressing really hard on my crayon to make all these zigzag lines with a white crayon down in the dirt. This is under the surface of the dirt. So I'm trying to show where I want to have my white roots. There we go. That's nice. Cool. After we've done that, let's go ahead and color in our plants. Let's see here, I'm gonna go into my cold colors as you can see. I'm gonna find a green. Let's do the green for the corn. And if I have more than one green color, I could layer them on top of each other to make more of a unique color, you can color mix. Notice that when I'm coloring, I'm pressing really hard. Okay. Might want to try to find another green. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. Be a little bit of a dark green, a little bit here, a little bit there. See how I'm mixing my two green colors? Do you see how beautiful that makes it look? I'll zoom in. Do you see how I'm mixing the green colors together? The tassels are kind of a yellowish color. So I find a yellow. Oh, that's perfect. There we go. And then the lettuce is definitely green. Let's make these some nice dark leafy green. I'll mix in just a little bit of the light green. Now, do you notice that because of the order that I use my crayons, it looks different. Over here, I use the light green first, and then I added some dark green, and it makes it look like that. But over here, I use the dark green first, and then I used a little bit of the light green. And do you see how they look so different? Interesting. Okay, and then we have our tomatoes over here. Let's make our tomatoes nice and dark with a green. All the vines, the little leaves are green. And what color should the tomatoes be? Yep, you probably guessed it. They're supposed to be red. And if you grow lots of tomatoes, you can can them and make some tasty salsa. Here, let's see, let's find a good red crayon. Hmm. This might work. Give it a try. Yeah, that's a good, good color for a tomato. Color in those tomatoes. And maybe for our cage, we can use a gray, gray crayon. Make it look like metal. I'm just going over one more time. There we go. Now, 
at this point, we can be all done with our crayons. Okay, so now I'm going to start using my watercolor paints. Gonna open these up. Here we go. Gonna get my brush nice and wet in my cup of water. Swish, swish, swish. Here we go. Let's begin with the sky. We're gonna have a nice bright blue sky. Notice how I'm being very careful. Once you have done your sky, then what you can do is you can do the dirt. And for the dirt, I'm going to use maybe a little bit of um, black, maybe a little bit of brown. We'll see. First, I think I'll start with the brown over here. And you'll see what happens. Where everywhere that you put your white crayon, isn't that cool? Everywhere that you put your white crayon, um, it's saying, get off of me, get off of me. And it's resisting. This technique is called water resist. So as you wash your brown magically over the top of all your roots that you just did, they should get revealed. go. Oh, that is wonderful. Now just to add some interest, let's make a little bit of black in there. Just a little. Black is a pretty strong color. Let me mix that in down here. There we go. That's a nice soil color. Alright, and then you're going to let that dry. I can't wait to see what you grow on your farm. Have fun!